I might just take a really long walk tomorrow and enjoy the sunshine um, by myself. I cannot take the dog with me. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. You wanna get close to me? Why don't you do it? Reason, but you're trying to deny that we should be together. It's heavy weather, we're heading for tonight. You better take what you can because the time is right now. Good morning, <clears throat> good Monday morning. We got the coffee brewing here, the animals ate. Chloe's eating her dry food. I came down. I came out of the room to go to like make some coffee and the freaking girl guinea pigs like the original three they were fighting I was like oh shit we got a brawl so had to break that shit up and then I put little Melvin on the chair he's on his blankie do you want to say good morning, Melvin, since you're the cutest boy in the world? In the whole wide world, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. I love you. Yeah, you're a good boy. Anyway, I'm going to have my coffee and chill with Mel Melon. That ain't your damn name. Poor Melvin. Hello. <laughs> He's so freaking cute. Hello. I'm still here. I'm just turning on some lights. I don't know if I want to close these blinds. It's such a pretty sunset. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do any justice if I show you. Probably not, but yeah, it probably doesn't look any different than but it's really pretty in person. Like, it's like so super bright over there. Wait, hold on. Do you guys see it? It's just probably not. See, it's not doing it any fucking justice, but it's really pretty. Damn, it's beautiful out there. God damn. Hold, please. I mean, shit. It is like pink as fuck out there. Ugh, gorgeous. Um, I've made like an instant. You know what? Where the fuck is it now? I don't even know where it is. Oh, here it is. This is not instant. No, this is not instant. This is like regular ass quinoa. It's a good source of protein. Six grams of protein for a fourth cup dry. Um, it is fucking pink outside. It is gorgeous out there. I have some chicken breasts that I need to... I, I've been defrosting all... Let's get you away. I've been defrosting it all day. Is it still frozen? No, it's fine. Um, I'm going to put one in the fridge, though, because I'm not eating both. If anything, I'm probably only going to eat half. But I'm going to make this quinoa here. I have no idea how to fucking make it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to go by the directions, but... So it says, rinse thoroughly. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So it says rinse thoroughly prior to cooking and remove any residue. Combine one half cup of quinoa with one cup of water or broth. We'll probably do broth so it tastes better. Uh, reduce heat. Cover. Let simmer 15 minutes. Oh, that doesn't sound very uh, hard at all. All right, so I'm gonna make like a chicken and vegetable and quinoa bowl because why not, right? I mean, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have to make the chicken. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna put in this bowl, so I need to go outside and look at this goddamn sunset because it's just too pretty for me not to look at. It's so 
fucking beautiful. Hold. Hold, please. It's so quiet. It's it's getting chillier out. It was like almost 60 today, which is insane, but it's so quiet and peaceful. I love it. Um anyway, did you need to hear all that? Probably not, but it, whatever. I took you along for it anyway because why the fuck not? Um, it's supposed to be really nice again tomorrow. I believe it's going to be warmer tomorrow. Let me see. Woo. I yawn a lot on here, don't I? I'm fucking tired. I get up at 5.45 in the morning. Um, and I'm, I'm go, go, going. I've been go, go, going all day. I did a workout because I'm trying to get my knee to feel better because it doesn't. And I can't afford... Um, <sighs> physical therapy because you know they want to charge you an arm and a leg and the knee that hurts they want to charge um so i've got to try to rehab myself at home because it hurts so bad so i've just been trying to do that and today was the first day that i i did like a modified uh leg day and it i'm hurting it it hurts i'm hurting i'm sure it's going to be worse tomorrow but it needed to be done. What the fuck, man? I'm trying to look up the weather. All right, let's see. Right now, it is wah, wah, wah in Jersey. It's 53 out, which it's February. It's weird. Uh, feels like 49, but tomorrow is supposed to be sunny and 54. Oh, no, it's going to be a little cooler tomorrow. 62 on Wednesday. What the Global warming at its finest. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what I... I'm going to put your ass down right here so I can talk to you. I don't know. What? Can we look at me or not down? Hold on. I got to put your asses up. There we go. Now you're cockeyed. All right. Um, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I don't think we're doing much of anything. As much as I would love to enjoy, like, enjoy the the weather, Arlo's got things to do, and when she's off, she waits to do those things, obviously. So I might just take a really long walk tomorrow and enjoy the sunshine um, by myself. I cannot take the dog with me. Do you know I was on Facebook this morning, and I get, and, and this is a, a reoccurring situation, right? This isn't just, oh, it's like a once in a, like once in a blue moon kind of thing. This is, there is a fucking dog on the loose on a constant day-to-day -day basis in the neighborhood I live in. Literally, I am constantly seeing either on like the, what is it, the next door app or like the app that's for like my community, my, my neighborhood here. There's always somebody's dog that's lost, missing, or somebody's took a picture on their lawn of a dog that's just running around and I'm just like dude what the fuck don't people understand when it comes to like dogs like when my dog's outside I keep looking to see what the fuck they're doing and they don't like to stay out there very long but I make sure that they're out there you know what I mean like I don't just leave them out there and then just you know fucking do just go about my business and don't even ever check on them like I make sure that they're out there so many people lose their fucking dogs. It's crazy to me. Oh my God. My fear is when I take her out with me, um, she's quite reactive when it comes to other dogs. And so I don't want to stumble upon a fucking dog that's lost and just running around in the neighborhood without an owner or a leash and then having to deal with that with her because it, it won't be pretty. It just won't. She's reactive as fuck. So... Anyway, let me make some quinoa and my chicken, and I gotta get maybe some broccoli out of the freezer. I don't know what else. What else do you put in a fucking quinoa chicken bowl besides quinoa and chicken? 
and a vegetable. I don't know. Maybe I'll saute up some onion or something. Nah, let me look on TikTok because TikTok has the answers to everything, in my opinion. All right, so this is what's happening. Um, so this chick I found on TikTok, her name is Rach, R-A-C-H, Wolfson, W-O-L-F-S-O-N. She has a recipe for a quinoa bowl with um, well, it has crispy chickpeas in it, which I don't have, unfortunately, so I'll be missing that one ingredient. But, um, it's chicken, broccoli, quinoa, and then she makes, like, a dressing from tahini, lemon, juice, and, um, honey. So, there was a tiny bit left of this tahini, like, probably... I don't know, probably like right here. And it was exactly kind of what I needed. So I just added the stuff to the bottle. I put lemon juice in here and then I put some honey in here. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and some like garlic powder. Because why not? Maybe a little onion powder as well. And um, give it a good shake. And this will be like the dressing that I'm going to put on top of this chicken and quinoa and broccoli bowl. Here's the quinoa. It came out very good. Extremely easy to make, easier than I thought, and I tasted it, and it's so freaking good. So, we got that going on. This chicken here is pretty much done. I just put some red onion with it because I wanted red onion. And I'm going to make some uh, broccoli in the microwave. And then I'll put it all together and show you. All right, so this is my <coughs> quinoa bowl. Quinoa. Um, this is a fourth cup of quinoa. Steamed broccoli, that tahini sauce I made, and then chicken with red onion, and it is freaking fire. The quinoa bowl was delicious. I loved it. It was bomb. So, I just wanted to put that out there in case you were wondering. I was just talking to my friend Emily. Um, she's somebody who we actually met through YouTube, and we've known her a very very long time. I mean, Emily, how long has it been? A really long time. Um, and I was telling her, as I said in the video before this one, keto has ruined the way I look at food. Um, and I know there are going to be so many people who like watch this and they beg to, to differ. And that's fine. However they feel about it is how they feel and how I'm feeling. And I know Emily's also feeling. We feel the same way. Um, it's just destroyed the way I look at food. And it sucks because I never, ever looked at food in the way that I look at it now. And as much as I try to change my mindset, it'll change for a day or two. And then I'm back to thinking about, oh, should I be having this? What I was telling her was when I was making the quinoa, and by the way, I think I'm a quinoa lover. It's freaking delicious. It's so like fluffy and just, it's very good. And I made it with chicken broth. So it has like nice flavor. Anyway, I was telling her that even though that is a healthy grain, it's actually a really good source of fiber. It's got protein in it and it's good. Um, I still looked at the back of the package and was looking at the carbs. And it, of course, it's higher in carbs, but that doesn't mean shit. And I have to keep reiterating that to my brain. Like, I have to keep telling myself, Dana, chill the fuck out. Stop thinking about the fucking carbs. It's hard. It's hard not to. It's hard not to have something that you like or enjoy and not think about, oh, should I be having it? Should, should I not be having it? Like, it's fucking bullshit. And I, I wish I could just do a complete reset when it comes to my brain, but it's impossible. Like, how? I'm trying now, and it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy to do. So, I will never, ever do the keto diet ever again. No. I will eat sometimes lower carb. Like, and when I say lower carb, I mean like 100 carbs instead of 20 net carbs or 20 total carbs, which is absolute fucking ludicrous. And I know there are people that do it and that's fine. You don't have to comment below and tell me that you do it and it's working for you. I don't want to hear about that. That's great for you, but it's, it's not for me. It worked for me, 
but it no longer worked after a while. Like, we were stalled for so very long that it just got to a point where we were like, um, this shit ain't working no more. And we were doing all of the things we were doing before. If anything, we were trying to clean it up, like clean up the way we were eating more, make it a more cleaner version of keto. Still didn't work. And I just, yeah. I just think that, especially for somebody like me, I'm going to be 47 years old. When it comes to, like, your body, your age, you're a woman, your hormones, just sometimes things just don't work anymore. And I think people are in denial of that, and they don't realize that maybe what worked for you five years ago and it worked perfectly for you, it may not work for you anymore. I also have to tell myself that, and I have to find a new thing that is working. So whatever that might be, I'll find it. And if I don't, I fucking don't. It is what it is. I have to learn how to just enjoy my life, like enjoy the life that I'm living. And that's Emily. Emily, you just texted me. <laughs> um, enjoy the life that I'm living and, um, and that we're living anyway. And we're trying to go to Italy in 2024. I don't know if I told you guys that, but for our 10 year wedding anniversary, you guys know, at least I think you do, we don't go anywhere. We don't do anything. We haven't been on vacation together. We never had a honeymoon. So me and her, me and her, just me and her, wanna go to Italy. And, um, we're gonna make that happen. So we're, we're looking to go like the summer of 24. So we wanna do Florence, Venice, and where else did we say we wanted to go? Not Rome, Florence, Venice, shit. There was one other place. I'll get back to you on that one. Anyway, and we wanna do a guided tour because we kinda of want to see all of the sites and not just kinda of roam freely. Um, so you guys will obviously hear more about that as it gets closer to the date. Uh, anyway, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go make myself a little snack. I'm going to make a little Greek yogurt bowl. I like to add a little bit of sugar-free jello powder to the yogurt because the yogurt is plain Greek yogurt and it's plain. Um, so a little bit of sugar-free jello powder to give it some flavor. I'm going to put some strawberries in it, some shredded coconut maybe some chocolate chips and a little bit of granola. And um, I'm gonna see if I can watch a movie. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodles.